Hi, I'm Lanita, um, the owner here of Black Lamb Ranch, and this is our internship for 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 foraging and compounding. And this Hi. is our student, Katrion, intern <laughs> from uh, Texas A&M, and she's going to tell you about some of the lovely stuff that we have here and the stuff that we did last semester, and just tell you. So um, we have over here in the big jar with a lot of, those are chase berries or monk's pepper, and they're really helpful with female productive problems like balancing your hormones and stuff, or cramps and that kind of thing. And then we have poke root right here. This is for the tincture, and then you soak it in vodka for about a month or a little bit longer. Six to weeks. Get, mm -hmm. Six weeks. And then this is um, the ointment we made. I think we used coconut oil for yes. that one to mix it with. We also, these are the tinctures from the poke group we made with the vodka. Mm -hmm. And we also have sneeze weed right here. There's like a little yellow flower you see probably walking all over. And it's good for your sinuses and colds and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And then rabbit tobacco is good for respiratory illnesses yep. and stuff. And then can't remember curly dog. That one's a little later. Than yeah, curly dog is for liver and detox. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And then there's also itch no more, which I remember it has that one plant. I don't know if you want me to tell them what's in it. Yeah. And the secret ingredients. Secret ingredients. She's learning all <laughs> of the secrets that we use yes. in there. Uh -huh. And then which works really well too. I think mm -hmm. mosquito bites. And then here's some of. Our body butter we made, and I know this one right here was we use um, chase berries uh -huh. inside of this one. Uh -huh. And there's another ointment you can see with the poke root in uh -huh. the kind of container. And then we also have the teas over here, and there's one made with goldenrod and mint, which is really good if you for um, if you're sick or anything to boost your immune system. Uh -huh. And then we also have the chase berry and chamomile inside of the tea bag as well. It's really good. And um, the comfrey. comfrey. Uh -huh. Here's the comfrey right here, which I know, I believe is good for swelling. Bones. Bones and, and swelling, uh -huh. yeah, and pain. And any kind of uh, pain and things. And so this is a look at the teas inside the bag. If you can see that and um, that we did compound up. And the sneeze weed, this is a ragweed that everybody complains about here in Texas. And your, your fields are full of them, your yard is full of it. And we took them and we pounded them the hard way <laughs> <laughs> um, to make the sneeze weed and powdered it. And we make medicinal snuff. And that's, you actually sniff it up your nose and it opens up your sinuses and clears your sinus nasal passages and stuff. And these are just a couple of the herbs that we grow our own mint. We have, these are chased uh, leaves from the monk pepper, which can be used for seasoning. Uh, a lot of the stuff, what we try to do is find what is naturally occurring here. Um, Katriana and I last semester built a greenhouse, a hoop house, some people call it, out of cattle panels yeah. and plastic. So this was a project and in the house we've planted, the greenhouse we've planted seeds to see what would happen over the cold months and what we'll get for the spring and also to have more things that we're foraging. And by foraging, that means that we are using a lot of herbs that grow here naturally. This poke root, a lot of people consider it a weed, they call it poke weed. It's uh, big and it gets red and berries on it, but the root is very good. And in the springtime, the greens are good. And people, older people here know a lot about poke, poke salad, they call it, but you can eat the greens from the uh, poke root plant. So also the curly dock, people can eat the leaves in the early stages and then also the seeds that grow on there that are ground up for wheat. So we're learning foraging not only just for medicinal, that's our main focus, but some of these also can be used for mint. This mint, we use it to make different medicines, but we also sip on the tea too. So mm -hmm. we, uh, Katriana has helped cut 
Um, we had to dig up the rabbit tobacco in the grass and to wrap and dry, hang and dry the plants. So learning all of these things that can be useful to many different majors, but to let the students know that uh, things that grow naturally, you don't have to go out and buy a lot of stuff or get all these exotic plants. Stuff that grows naturally, our native Texas plants have been used by Native Americans and local people for years for food, for medicine, and all of that. And all of these ingredients, some part of it or most of it came from here on the land. Mm -hmm.